Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Haoni Barcelos versus Kyler Phillips. Haoni is 17 and 4 as a pro, 36 years old, and he's giving up 1 inch of height and 5 inches of reach to 28-year-old Kyler Phillips, who is 10 and 2 as a pro. Phillips is making his return after a suspension due to some shit, but I don't exactly know what's going on with that. I think the suspension was cut short, so it is what it is. But either way, he's back. He's got a 10 and 2 record. Five wins via TKO or knockout, two via submission, three via decision. And his two losses both come via decision. He was outpointed by Holly and Paiva in a fight that I still think should have been a draw. But it went the majority decision, I think, to Holly and Paiva, meaning only one judge scored a draw. But uh, he faded down the stretch there. Holly and Paiva was, so he survived and then he out hustled him. But that first round, Kyler had him on the ropes. It was dominant, and I scored a 10-8. But anyway, the story is he faded. His other decision, his other loss is by decision, and it's to Victor Henry, who's a very good fighter, who also beat Howony Barcelos by decision. Yeah, Victor Henry's definitely a, uh, he's got quite a resume. Uh, Phillips, he beat in his last fight, Marcelo Rojo, that was the one where he got the suspension. That was a triangle armbar in round three, which is where Marcelo Rojo gets finished. He beat Cameron Else via TKO in round two. Both those guys are out of the UFC right now, I believe. But one guy who isn't is Song Yadong. And that's his finest victory and a win that's only getting better with age. So Kyler Phillips at 28, even though he's still older than Song Yadong, I believe. But uh, yeah, he's got a promising future. And Haoni Barcelos, he's got a promising present, maybe, and... But I don't know about future. He's 36 years old. And look, Haoni might be better than Kyler Phillips. Uh, I think he's definitely better in some areas. Better probably wrestler and boxing. He's got really good hands. But he's got a lot going against him here. He's now 36 years old. He's coming off a knockout loss to Umar Nurmagomedov. Which we'd never seen Haoni knocked out. But if there was one guy we thought would get it done, I'm sure the last guy on everybody's list was Umar Nurmagomedov. Which Umar's... Definitely underrated there, but I'm still saying, you know, I have doubts about his chin. And can you combine that with the fact that he's taking this fight on short notice? And it's just, he's got enough strikes against him. Those are enough strikes against him in any matchup, even if he was fighting me. Although he'd still kick my ass. But he's definitely got a lot of strikes against him. And here going against a young kid, Kyler Phillips, with a full training camp, 28 years old, and with five inches of reach to... You know, help him out on the feet. And Kyler likes to work a rangier kicking game as opposed to Haoni, who's more, you know, I mean, he can slam some low kicks and shit, but he's more bread and butter with the hands. I think uh, I think this fight is pretty close, but I favor Kyler Phillips. I think Haoni just has too much going wrong for him. Haoni, though, technically, if he was in his prime, I would totally pick him to win this fight. I think he's got better wrestling. His striking, you know, even though it's more basic and whatever, fundamentals kill. I think he's pretty good there. And on the ground, uh, even though, you know, neither guy, either both guys have just two submission wins. But uh, Haoni, I expect, would have the positional advantage over Kyler Phillips. And whatever. You know, I think uh, maybe he'd get the first submission. What do I know? But still, in this fight, I got to pick Kyler Phillips. Haoni just has too much going against him. Short notice, 36, coming off a knockout loss to a grappler, Umar Magomedov. And again, I know he's got, he's better than we all considered on the feet, but he I don't know. I think that was his first knockout win, Umar. You know, certainly one of them. So it, there's just too much going against Haoni here. I do think he's got some technical advantages over Kyler Phillips, but they're all mitigated in a lot of ways, and I'm picking Kyler Phillips to win. I couldn't tell you if it would be a decision or a knockout, but I think it would be one of the two. I think uh, I have enough doubts about how many were uh, his chin failing him wouldn't surprise me. But also the fact that he took it on short notice. And even though Kyler has faded down the stretch, he's uh, 28 years old on a full camp. And yeah, he's uh, if he works his game and starts winning the, you know, the rangy kicking game and uh, the outside striking, I think he could uh, definitely winning a decision is not far out of the realm of possibility at all. Uh, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility at all. He definitely uh, could outpoint Haoni Barcelos. And look, he got the round three finish in, against uh, Marcelo Rojo. 
So even though Rojo typically loses in round three, it shows Kyler Phillips was still sharp in round three. And he looked really pretty getting that triangle arm bar. So I'm picking Kyler Phillips. I just uh, trust him more here. But not going to bet on this one, really. Not going to bet on it unless a prop bet really jumps out to me. Uh, Kyler Phillips is minus 210. That's not tempting enough. It'd be more tempting for me to bet on Hony Barcelos because I do think he's got some technical advantages here. But again, I'm just staying away from this. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.